the way we see sustainability is it should be a key enabler of everything else you do. So it should not be a bolt-on handled by some small department that people rarely hear from. It should actually be part of, a way, uh, part of how your business strategy is formulated and gets delivered. So that way it goes from being you know, number 11 on a list of 10 things that the business cares about and it becomes the way of getting the top three or four things done. Typically there are three different angles that we see companies taking and we try and help them with each of those depending on their starting point. So the first one is thinking about uh, compliance and risk and when we look at sustainability uh, and think about environmental and social risk, we see these risks becoming much more prevalent and company and because of issues such as climate change, much more real for companies in terms of a driver of cost. So we think about how do we make our supply chains more resilient and how might we make sure that we're in compliance with uh, new and different regulations that are popping up around the world. So that's sort of the risk and, and compliance focus. So that's, that's the first one. The second one, we talk about eco-efficiency. So how can I run my business in a way that uses, produces less carbon, uh, uses less water, uh, has minim less impact on the land, and tries to optimize the social questions at the same time? So we would consider those sort of eco-efficiency, and companies have been making great strides in terms of both saving money and having a good impact on the environment and social causes through, through those sort of uh, more efficient approaches to business as usual. And then the third approach is really about growth and innovation. So how might I create a new and different product that embeds sustainability in it from the outset? So this is where you need the creativity, you need engineers, you need people who can figure out um, you know, questions that go all the way along the value chain and reconceive business models, products, ideas, brands that can actually lead to new growth opportunities for that business. When it comes to eco-efficiency, we've got teams deployed at a number of uh, clients right now finding millions of dollars in savings in multiple places across the organization. And you ask yourself the question, well, why, why is this, do these savings exist? How do people not know about this already? And often the answer is that it's in many places and you know, there's no one person responsible for energy, or there's no one person responsible for waste. So there's an organizational question that we can help solve that, that looks across the organization in different ways and says, you know, these things that you're doing don't make sense. And often when people look at it and are presented with good data, they would say, well, why do we do this? So often you know, the eco-efficiency thing is where companies start because it frees up a lot of cash and you can use that money to get to stage three. And stage three is the innovation and growth and finding a way to embed sustainability into a new business model.